And this is a Michael Fazio with the skull and bones and the skull and bones with the teeth in a key lago on a June 1st. 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Obama. Poor pat of Mr. Obama on the head. Well, this is a good Obama. This is a good Obama. He used to talk. His battery is just dead on Mr. Obama. It's a shame because he used to say such a stupid shit. But this is Michael Fazio and a good day to everybody because we're with Mr. Obama riding on the Dick of Doom. Because we have been Dick of Doom proper. We have been fucking Dick of Doom beyond fucking belief. We have been fucked up the ass by these motherfuckers who are supposed to represent us. Fuck you all. Where you so, fucking you brain. have to have a physical address. So let's say you were in America and you went through a toll and the toll was $5 and you left for Europe, or in my case the Philippines, for a year. After 60 days they would send you a citation because it's only physical mail. So if your physical mail did not go to your forwarding address or you were traveling and had no way to have physical mail sent to your physical address where you were, the citation would be issued for anywhere from fifty to five hundred dollars depending on your individual case. So that's a possible five hundred dollar service fee. Now, what they will not do, I already said they will not notify you by email. So it's your job to remember to go to your account and check your account on a monthly basis otherwise you'll have to pay the citation fee now what they will not allow you to do number two is they will not allow you to put extra money in the account although you can put any amount of money in an account under your name it will not be deducted automatically so if you had a thousand dollars in account saved under their name and under your name for your license plate they would not deduct it automatically you would still be responsible now here's how it can cost you seventy five thousand dollars the citation goes through then your license is suspended so automatically any insurance policy that you have and in my case ten thousand a year for my boat and two thousand a year for my motor vehicles or twelve thousand dollars a year for insurance when everything is being used and insured so for five years after you receive a suspended license your insurance basically doubles so my twelve thousand dollar insurances for the year would go up to approximately let's say Twenty-four thousand. They don't even ask me. And and the YouTube sucks. And the YouTube sucks. And the YouTube channel design sucks. And the YouTube people that have designed the channel suck. And the YouTube channel designers and their staff suck. And the YouTube changing the channels that sucks. And the YouTube. Nobody likes the new channel design. Nobody. Uh, this is a dollar bill. Is a story. The same story as the Bible. The Book of Genesis. And the book of Revelation, she's in the Bible and she's on the dollar bill. Now, in the beginning, the book of Genesis talks about a lot of stuff. But the first of 17 verses, she's on the dollar bill in the God Pod, 1 through 17. And that's one of the chapters in my book. I'll show you the pictographs of the dollar bill blown up big. Blown up, not the like of Mr. Lottie Sinclair where I was blowing it down. I showed him, and I show you in the book, the book of Revelations on the dollar bill, which is inside of the one with the, the eagle, because everything inside of the compass of the eagle represents death. There's no life in the gods of gonads on the right side, which is the evil seed of death. There's no life in that one. Eagle killing machine. Glory, but I call it a nuclear detonation because I'm going to show you why in a minute. But she's really a nuclear detonation. You look at it over the top of the Great Pyramid. Look at the top of the Great Pyramid. That's a glory. And you look at the top of the eagle. That's a completely different. That's a detonation. Now I'm going to show you on this one. This is the top over the eagle. That's a detonation. 
and that's a glory. A glory, the lines emanate, emanate, emanate from a central point and focus outward, or shoot outward like arrows, which is another word for glory, almost. And in a detonation, the particles in a detonation, they expand exponentially. That's what is happening on, over the eagle's head. We have a 13 nuclear radiological particles expanding exponentially. That's a true story. Nobody kind of, the link below is for nuclear detonation and the link below is for glory. You go down and a click of the link for glory, a click of the link for the detonation. You kind of see that. Or you kind of read in my book, it's in my book. So in this book, there's a story and the story in this book associates itself with the story in that book. Now I've proven everything. I should have been so famous that a Steven Spielberg should have been sending over one of his children to service in my take father. Take a That fucking Obama. He's dick of doom in us. He's dick of doom in us. He is. He is. He's dick of doom in us. Dick of doom in us proper, ladies and gentlemen. Obama cannot stop dick of doom in the world. He knows about this nuclear radiation, too. He's not a stupid Obama. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Obama. I have to tell you something else. I have to get him my dick of doom. Because now that we're off of this Bo and Rocco show. This Bo and Rocco show is very nice. But I kind of tell you, see under my desk? You could have seen under my desk. This is a beautiful little stainless steel, non-magnetic. I think it's a 316 of stainless steel. This is a, not just a piece of stainless steel, ladies and gentlemen. This is a this is a taco rack. That's right. This is a from the taco rack a man invented himself, Mr. Taco Rack, Mr. Nicholas, and he gives me this a taco rack. And what do I do with this a taco rack? You could have think I would have put a tacos on it, but I don't like a Mexican food. So what I do with this is I take my dick of doom. Hold on a second. The dick of doom. She's very heavy. You kind of see the dildo burger. She's on a triple taco rack. And now I'm going to make it the Dick of Doom. I'm going to get a Dick of Doom just the right. Here's the Dick of Doom. We're Mr. Obama on the Dick of Doom. Here's Mr. Obama. He's a good Obama. And I'm taking the Dick of Doom and I place the Dick of Doom on the taco rack. Like this. And like that. And now she's on there like that. You put it on there. Put it, I'll move it up a little bit like this and like that. It was like a Mr. Obama. And now he's riding on the Dick of Doom. Riding, riding, riding. But you kind of get the commercial taco rack, which is the taco rack full edition. And that is the taco rack for the full edition. That comes in this big box over here. And what do you got when you have a space pussy? Take your space pussy, which is out of my desk. Take your space pussy. You stretch out your space pussy so she can breathe. Give her the space pussy a little breathing room. Gets rid of the bad of breath. And you take the space pussy and you put it on top of the special edition taco rack. And you kind of see this is the head of the space pussy. And you know that because of the teeth. And those teeth are representing the head of the space pussy. And this is the body of the space pussy resting on the commercial edition of the taco rack and remember ladies and gentlemen we're only visiting this planet that's right and you kind of see we have visitors right there in front of the scope when I was a scope and I see the visitors and I get this a button to prove that we're only visiting this planet ladies and gentlemen and a god day to everybody from Michael Fazio in the Florida Keys on a June on a June 6th on a June 6th, this is a 666. Today is a 666. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is a 1201. This is a 1202. That's right. 1202, June the 6th, 2013. We do the Bo and Rocco show. And this is a Michael Fazio on a, on a 666. And a God day to everybody because you're going to need it. With Mr. Obama in the White House, and the skull and bones on the dollar bill. That's right. The skull and bones are with the teeth on the dollar bill. Kind of see. This is the number 666 on the dollar bill. We just to mention that. And a god day to everybody from Michael Fazio in the Florida Keys. That's right. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen. 
this is Michael Fazio saying that you kind of see that now that I have my bid, now that I have my bid, now that I have my bid, I look a lot like a like a somebody with a wisdom. That's right. But I'm not any wiser than I was yesterday. I'm just maybe a little bit, a teeny bit, one thousandth of an inch wiser. Because every day my beard grows, it makes me smarter. That's right. You kind of see this as scrubby shit on my, I mean, my wonderful beard. It makes me look smart. Because I'm the smartest man in the world, and I have said to you many times before, anybody that does not believe that the skull and the bones is on the dollar bill. And the Ark of the Covenant is on the dollar bill. And the great horned owl is opposite the skull and bones on the dollar bill. I have the $10,000 Fazio challenge that says I kind of proved this. And he offered to be, I know that the guy Joey Powell, Joey, Joseph Powell, Joe Powell. He says that he's smarter than me, but he's not. He reads the Bible. He's a nicer man. He says, God bless you, Mr. Fazio, but you're wrong. And I say to Joe Powell, God bless you too, because you are wrong. And he says I'm wrong, and I say he's wrong, but I have the money to better him, and he does not have the money. But that's okay, because no one has the money anymore. Because, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, you guessed it. Mr. Obama, this is right. And I'm not to just to say I have a beard like a Muslim. I have a beard like a Muslim because I'm a smart man. That's right. And YouTube sucks. YouTube sucks. YouTube sucks. YouTube sucks. The new channel design sucks. Nobody likes the new channel design YouTube. YouTube sucks. And the new channel design sucks. And whoever designed the new channel design sucks. And whoever decided to design the new channel design sucks. Because YouTube sucks. Because they make the new channel they're taking my artwork off of the new channel. That sucks. YouTube and the channel designers, they all suck. And this is Michael Fazio and the Kill Art Ladies and gentlemen, I am a Jewish Bible scholar and I am a Jewish rabbi because, ladies and gentlemen, I have achieved my goal in life to become a Jewish rabbi with the beard of a wisdom. And what we're going to discuss today is many topics, but what we're going to discuss first of all is the Bible, the Bible. Because in the Bible, it talks about in the beginning, and in the beginning, that's right, there was the one dollar bill. And I have proven that this Bible, Bible, and the story in this Bible, she associates itself with the one dollar bill. I have proven that either an alien race of beings has written the Bible or a remnant society that originated on earth and has controlled our world Ladies since the beginning of This country is effectively, completely and 100% unequivocally screwed and you only have one person in this world, this fundamental change that this animal in the White House spoke about has fundamentally changed America into something the forefathers would not even recognize. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you are effectively, fundamentally changed. And what has changed is that Obama, who's riding and riding and riding on the dick of doom, has fundamentally changed the American way of life. And at the same time, Mr. Obama, it has a shoved the dick of doom into the American approach. With Mr. Obama riding on the dick of doom, there's not much happiness in this world. We have to get it while we can, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. And this is Michael Fazio saying a God day to everybody from Michael Fazio in the Florida Keys. And a goodbye, Z2. Say good night. Good night, Michael. Oh, well, should we put a Michael Fazio's face? Eh, yeah, we throw Michael Fazio's face in there. We didn't know how to shave it today, so you have to forgive what I look like. Actually, I did not have shave in a long time. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be Jewish rabbi soon. That's right, I'm going to let my hair down, and I'm going to be a Jewish rabbi. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the world needs to know some things, and I'm going to bust out one or two of my Bibles, and I'm going to show the world some of the things that are in the Bible that are not true.